Now, this is the hardest set of lines to draw because they, they really overlap each other and go what well, people seem to think are in strange ways. We want to draw three altitudes. And again, altitude is the shortest distance, perpendicular distance from a vertex to a side. Now, there's one that goes from B down to AC. There's one that goes from A over to BC. And there's one that goes from C over to BA. The hard part is to make it so... Now yeah, we'll get to it in a minute. So, again, we got to draw a perpendicular. So that's going to mean two circles. Our job is to figure out where those two circles go. Because we know it's got to go somewhere right around here. Because it's got to come straight down from B. Um, how to figure out, that, out where that goes is to literally draw another circle. Draw one circle um, that will hit the other side twice. Um, I could put it right there because I'm hitting here and over here. Or I could actually put it on A. Just for fun. Um, and then I gotta find where it's hitting over here. So, uh, I didn't want to do it that way. I want to find out where it's hitting right there. All right. Um, the reason I had wanted to undo is because before it gave me a, a D and an E, and I don't want to get another point name at A. Now I draw two circles. Um, same size, twins, around A and D. So, got to draw some twins, center and radius. Um, just make them something. I don't know what's, what's too big. Two. Two is not big enough, but that's okay. I can change them. If I double click on the circle, I can change how big they are. So conic is, you know, circle kind of idea. And that's just put a circle at A, size 3. Awesome. So now we've got to find the intersection. And we need to draw a line. And that line happens to go up through B. Yay. That is an altitude. Well, that is where the altitude goes. The altitude actually goes from B to a point right here on this side. All right, so now we got to do that again. I'm going to hide those circles. We got to go altitude from C over to AB. On paper, you can always turn your paper. Yeah, let's put it on B. And we gotta find where this hits over here. G. We're gonna make two circles around G and B. Ah, wrong one, huh? Yeah, make it and undo it. Alright, circle center and radius. Let's go size one. Let's go size one. They don't quite overlap. Um again. These are your circles. X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. All right, so P, we want to make, uh, let's go size 2. K, let's go size 2. Excellent. Let's find the intersection of those two. And let's draw a line through that intersection. And it goes up through C. So our altitude would go from this intersection right here, which we'd want to find if we need it. But we don't need it, the actual altitude. We need the altitude line. Um, so there's two altitudes. So we want B down, we want C down, now we've got to go A down. All right, so we need another circle. And this is where you want to have colored pens and pencils on paper, but here I can hide stuff. We're going to go C down to, if I go B, does that work? B works. I can go to B because there's another point over here that it's crossing. So i got to draw circles at B and J. So let's go size 1. Size 1. Find the intersection of those two. Draw a line through those intersections. And it goes up through A. And 
there is a point where they cross. They cross at point M, is what it's called right here. Uh, da, da, da. They cross at point M. Now, here's the bad part about point M. It actually really means nothing. It has a name, but we don't really use it for much of anything. It is called orthocenter. It is called the orthocenter. I have tried to look it up before and haven't really remember. It's not doesn't always stick to. It doesn't go through all three corner. It doesn't hit all three sides. Uh, it's just one of the centers. And we do it because it's three altitudes, and altitudes are pretty important for triangles. So we just extend the idea from going altitude to going to all three altitudes, and that's called the orthocenter three altitudes. Again, you need to draw a smiley face, so a circle that hits the opposite side twice, and then draw two twins around there, and then draw, find the intersection of those twins and draw a line up through it. That's three altitudes together. Get you an orthocenter.